Good morning. My name is Ellen Taylor, and I'm presenting myself today as an employee of, of Open Door Community Health Services. Um, and I wanted to pres present the perspective of healthcare providers uh, on this issue. And to that end, on Friday and also on Monday, myself and Dr. Ellen Weiss up in the Arcata Clinic collected signatures from practitioners. My experience on Friday was that unanimously, everyone from reception people who have contact with our patients, to medical assistants, to nurses, to social workers, to providers, all have been uh, seriously distressed by our inability to provide health care for homeless people. It's like trying to build a building on sand. You don't have the fundamentals of health when people are constantly pursued around the street, deprived of their belongings, exposed to the elements 24-7. And uh, whether you're treating an acute condition, um, a wound or a cellulitis or something like that, or whether you're treating a chronic condition, it, it, there's, there's none of the, of the basic requirements that we all learn as children. You need to have adequate rest, you need to have adequate nutrition, and you need to be free from constant bombardments of traumatic experiences which only exacerbate anxiety and depression. And people, even people who are precipitated into homelessness by, by bad fortune, by ill fortune, and it's easy to have bad fortune these days. It's a challenge just to pay rent if you're a rent payer, um, who are precipitated into homelessness, become members of people with, with serious psychiatric and psychological conditions just because of the trauma of living outdoors all the time. So our hands are tied in a lot of respects, and a significant, we, we have wealthy clients as well, but we have lots of people who have very limited resources and, and, and lim, you know, are, are limited to a, check, one, a small check once a month, which doesn't cover anything. It's, it's impossible to, if, if they, if they want a, a kind of a surgery, to be able to guarantee that they'll have a quiet period from, during which they can recover. If they have congestive heart failure or some kind of heart issue or cancer, any of those conditions. Of course, we have millions of diabetics, not millions, but we have lots and lots of diabetics who aren't able to take care of their diabetes. Here are the signatures. Um, as I said, they were practically, practically unanimous. And I think if we went down to the clinics in Southern Humboldt, we'd find the same. We didn't get there. We didn't get to Fortuna or Ferndale. This is Arcata and Eureka. And I didn't even get upstairs to the administration. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen.